And now it's time for Hobo Reviews with Willy Be a Hobo. Tonight's review, Beauty and the Beast. Oh my god, this is the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life. Be our guest, be our guest with the spoilers. There's this prince who's named the well, actually, there is no name for this prince. They didn't bother to name the prince. What a waste of a fucking time. Well, anyways, he has a chance to let an enchantress live in his beautiful castle. Except the prince is a big fucking douchebag and says no. So the enchantress turns him into a beast, and he is cursed for the rest of his life. See, doesn't that rem remind you of Shrek and Mama? Maybe Shrek ripped off of Beauty and the Beast to some extent. Or something like that. Anyways, the beast stays that way until he learns his lesson. He has to be loving and caring and forgiving and caring and loving and generous and caring and mostly loving, but caring. Then we transition into this princess. Although I debate whether or not she's a princess anymore, even though she's mentioned in the princesses for Disney, named Belle. And she likes to read. What the hell kind of a princess likes to read in Mama? Seriously, why is she a princess in Mama? She does not qualify as a princess in Mama. Ah, that's beside the point. Anyways, the beast falls in love with Belle. So, he decides to take her on a romantic dinner. See, get it? Because it's romance and we're still in Valentine's Day month. Although, there's not really much Valentine's Day, just romance. So, anyways, he, he has friends. A clock, a candle. Is he fucking high, Mama Ma, or something? Who the hell has a clock and a candle and a teapot and a teacup for your friends, Mama? Ma? Anywho, they assist the beast in getting this dinner print so that he and Belle can go on a romantic date. Because there's nothing more romantic than a princess and a beast dancing in the ballroom. Be our guest, 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 be our guest. That's the name of the song that they use to set up for the dinner. But there's this bad guy named Gaston who wants to kill the beast. Okay, this is totally, Shrek totally ripped this movie off. So much for it being the father figure, my mama, I dream works. This is an animated ripoff of Beauty and the Beast pretty much. Golly. So what does Gaston do? He tries to kill the beast. Only the beast is gonna fight back and protect his love, Belle, because he's determined to break the curse. Except that Gaston wounds the beast before Gaston falls off a cliff and dies. Oh, shame on him. However, the beast does die, but there's a bright side. Because of the fact that he learned his lesson and sacrificed his life to save Bell's, the curse is broken and he turns back into a prince. Well, that defeats the whole purpose of this whole movie, ma ma ma. Because he dies and then comes back to life as a prince? He's no longer a beast? Why not name this beauty and a prince? Beast turns prince or something like that. And so anyways, the prince and Bell live happily ever after. I for one love this movie because it's a nice romantic movie and well, it's by Disney and Disney I admire a lot. This is really be a hobo saying. Charge! You got charge! I come out of a car with you! Come on, charge! Come on! I need the money so I can attract the princess so that way she can fall in love with me! That way I can live happily ever after!